everybody, this is Praxis, and today I've been working on a variety of projects here. One of them was that I took this mop, which is the right tool for uh, the job, which somebody gave me, to finally start really cleaning up that floor behind you. Uh, I was having trouble just using the torn up jeans. <laughs> they were just kind of pushing the, the silt around. The mop really worked. You get the water down. I'm, I'm going to tell you how to use a mop. <laughs> you put the water down, get it all wet, and then squeeze this thing out, and then it just absorbs everything, including the dirt. It, Works a lot better, and the head costs one dollar at a dollar store. So, right tool for the job, really making that happen. What I'm working on right here is the uh, there's going to be uh, some posts uh, as you come up the stairs. There's going to be a wall here, post continuation of this wall. There's going to be light switches in this one, and this is just going to be a post with a continuation of railings going along. And uh, while I'm doing this, I, you could just take the posts and kind of toenail them in, but I want to get some real uh, rigidity in there. Uh, at the house that I'm presently staying at, they just took things and toenail them in and they kind of wiggle a little bit. This I want to take and it's going to slot right down into the uh, floor joist here and that's going to make it nice and rigid. I've already done this one here and I'm going to do this one on this side. The posts are going to be comprised of three two by sixes, one long one in the middle that's going to slot in and then the two on the two sides. I'm starting by using the uh, circular saw, and then I'm going to be using this oscillating saw to kind of dive in, uh, in lieu of doing it all with chisel. And uh, that worked really well over here, and I think it's going to work great over here as well. I'm going to start and do what chops I can with, with this saw. Here we go. circular cut right there. I can do one cut here. Precision work like this, and you really need to see what you're doing. It's really important to have the safety glasses on. And sometimes you can kind of get around them when you you don't really have to look at what you're doing. You can kind of just rip through. I'm not recommending that. That's not the safest way to do it. But when you need to look right at it, you definitely need the safety glasses. This is called an oscillating saw. This blade just jiggles back and forth, and with this you can dive right in. into things. I use this because it's nice and straight, gets it over there, but then this I'm just going to kind of go around the edges, get these chunks out, and then that'll put me in a good position to finish up these posts every day, just a tiny bit at a time, but every day is closer than I was the day before. And at the end of the week, when you, I think about what I've accomplished for the week, uh, you know, it is moving forward, just you always wish it was faster. That's it. Thanks for watching.